some rest. It's uh, very late. Uh, I know it's late. I gotta get this work done. I... There's a big sales promotion tomorrow. You could probably get some better rest in here. I can hear you snoring all the way out here. No, I gotta get it done. This job is killing me. Me and Liz are always cranky. I never see the kids. They always want more, it seems like. I'm the one who's supposed to have all the answers, but I just don't know what to do. Hey, dude. Who are you? What's your name? Don't worry about my name. It's beyond your understanding. I get the funny feeling you can help me with my problem. Well, duh, I ain't here for the coffee. <laughs> right. Uh, here, you want, you want a seat? You want something to eat? No, but when I leave, prepare a burnt offering. Have your wife make some of her toast. <laughs> so, I hear you're having a problem. Do you think God could help you with that problem? I guess so. Well, I don't know. Probably. Probably? Probably? You call yourself born again? Yeah, I am. I believe in Jesus. Where's your Bible? And have you inquired Lord in this matter? Yeah, my Bible is just right over. Uh... <laughs> there. You don't read this except when the pastor reads it to you on Sunday. And it seems like the only time you pray is when you speed past a cop. Go back to sleep, son. Bury your head in your dish. Go back to sleep. Can you tell me your name? Sure. I'm Noah. I lived during an awful time on Earth. Hardly a believer anywhere. The world just so full of sin. And how did I get through those times? By walking close to God, sticking right by Him, like this. You want advice? God has advice. All around me, the people were building, buying, marrying, selling, making money. It looked like good times forever for those sinners. But then God told me it was all going to end, like that. He gave me advice, all right, down to every last detail and dimension of the ark, where to put the door, where to put the windows, how big, how to collect and preserve all those animals. You have an advisor, all right, the same one I have. Just stick right by him, and he'll see you through any crisis. Goliath didn't stand a chance. Haha, <laughs> David, right? At your service. I remember a time I needed advice. I brought my troops back to Ziglag, the town I had been living in. I couldn't believe my eyes. The Amalekites had raided it. The whole town was just a heap of ashes. All my cattle, all my possessions were gone. But worse than that, they took our wives and sons and daughters. We wept. Me and all my men wept until we had no more strength to cry. And my own men were thinking about stoning me because they were bitter of their sons and daughters. So what did you do? If you read your Bible, you'd know. <laughs> but I'll tell you anyway. <clears throat> the Lord gave me the advice. Shall I pursue this raiding party? Will I overtake them? He answered, surely you will overtake them. Pursue them. And it came to pass, just as he said. We recovered everything the Amalekites had taken, including our wives. Nothing was missing, young or old, boy or girl, all the livestock. You want to know why? Because I have an advisor who can be trusted. So do you. I remember when I stood before King Ahab and all of Israel. I had to tell them God was going to punish their wickedness. I know you. You're Jeremiah, right? What? I have clothes on, don't I? Uh, Micah? <laughs> Micah? 
People get me confused with Elisha, but never Micah. Well, anyway, I had to tell them there would be no rain for three years. That means there would be withering crops, dying cattle, no food, and starving people. Things were hopeless, but I trusted my advisor, and he took care of me in an amazing way. He led me to a brook, so I had water to drink during the drought. And then ravens brought me bread and meat every morning, and then again in the evening. Birds brought you food? That's right. You gotta re start reading your Bible, buddy. So they tell me. When the brook dried up, my advisor sent me to a widow who had only a little flour and oil. But God provided, and the flour and oil weren't used up until the famine ended months later. Well, that is awesome. My God is an awesome God. Trust him. God wants to have a close relationship with you. And he isn't a silent partner. Want something for breakfast? Uh, yeah, just some burnt toast. What? Hey, are you reading your Bible? Yeah, going back to a daily quiet time. No more worrying, just trust in God. Maybe you should sleep out here more often. <laughs> no, I think I'd rather sleep with my angel, not talk to, uh... Hey, where'd he go? Where did who go? What are you looking for? Maybe you need some more fresh coffee. <laughs>